Hey everybody, welcome to Zoomalata Clubhouse. I am Zoomalata. I am so glad you're here. This video, well, first of all, Zoomalata Clubhouse is for anybody that is trying to put together a birthday party for their child. And so welcome. I am so glad you're here. There's tons of things uh, and we're going to keep adding to it as we go on, on how to decorate uh, snacks, games, things like that. But today, balloons, they're so fun, right? Well, we, you can decorate with balloons, but everybody really likes the balloon twister. Have you ever thought about becoming one yourself and learning how to do that? You can get balloons at stores like Party City or Walmart and, and places like that. And they come with the, the balloon pumps and things like that. Well, I'm going to take you through how to make your own uh, balloon puppy dog, the basic dog. And uh, it's a one balloon dog. Um, and that means you use one balloon to make the dog. <laughs> All right. So let's get going. The basics. We have a pump and you have one balloon. And we're going to use a yellow one so that it uh, contrasts my red shirt here. Um, First of all, the balloon pump. Um, there are different styles of balloon pumps. This one's made by Qualitex. They have two of them. One is a red one, and that's a single pump. And uh, basically that means is um, you only get, there's only one direction that'll actually put air into the balloon. And that's, you pull this out, and then when you push it in, that's gonna put air into the balloon. Now this green one by Qualitex, this one is a double pump, and the beauty of that is that it's going to put air in it when you pull it out, and it's going to put air in it when you push it back down. Very basic. Um, the, you can get balloon pumps at Walmart, Party City. They're a little bit cheaper. You may, when you, if you're going to do this and you want to do it for parties and stuff, and you can only afford the cheaper ones, you might want to uh, get a couple of them so that if they break... I found that they snap real easy right here where the handle is. So if, if you have that issue, um, then, then get a couple of them so that uh, you, you're ready. You don't have to mouth inflate. If you ever try to mouth inflate these thin uh, twisty balloons, oh my goodness, they, it is tough. Um, and nowadays with that C word, we're not allowed to mouth inflate anymore. So we don't want to pass any germs and stuff along. So, the twisty balloon. Uh, this is called a 260. And what that means is that when you blow this up, if you were to blow it up completely full length, it's going to be about 60 inches long. The three, I'm sorry, the two and 260 is going to be um, how the diameter of the balloon uh, when you blow it up. And it's approximate. It's not exactly um, different brands of different uh, different brands of balloons well it'll be a little bit different um, so to blow it up you take and you put it on there and you're gonna want to hold on to the the tip hold it on to so that when you put start to put air in it it doesn't go flying now if you want to do that you can get a good laugh with the kids. So um, I throw that in every once in a while um, as a gag, okay? Um, and if you do it by accident, go along with it. Just milk it up like you're a clown and just be silly. The kids will love that. But for now, we want to be serious. We want to make a balloon dog. So you're going to take and hold that. Like I said, one pump will fill it up. And I'm going to do one more time. And so you have this kind of end here where it's not inflated, okay? You take it, you give it a little burp. And then you're just going to release a little bit of air. It cuts down on the pressure. Uh, and that's something that comes with practice. Sometimes you, uh, depending on if you don't fill it up all the way, you don't want to let out any air, but you're going to squeeze it a little bit um, to, to uh, push air down. And, and for, for that, let's talk about the physics of balloons a little bit. So you have a knot here that you tie it on. Uh, that might take some practice here for you as well. But uh, um, 
when you when you start out especially you're going to want to do twisting your balloons you're going to always start at the knot end not at the uh, uninflated end um, what happens is when you twist the balloon you're pushing air down you're pushing air down to the other end of it and if you try to start here you're just going to push it to this direction and it's going to pop almost every time all right unless you really have a really loose pump you know a really loose uh thing there and uh, you can and this is just for so your knowledge you can send the air and start down here and push it away you can make some really cute animals with that uh, but that's like professional level balloon twisting. It takes some practice to do it. Um, and if you figure it out, more power to you, because I have a very hard time with that. Uh, but anyway, so you're going to start at the knot end. And so I always like to start up, knot end pointing to the ceiling, right? And uh, and so we're going to do a quick, just the basics. Uh, this, is, uh, this will be um, a simple twist. Um, just again to get the mechanics and then we'll do another one. All right, so you have this you're gonna take and fold up this balloon here So that's like a u-shape. Can you see the u-shape there and then squeeze it? Just squeeze it balloons are meant to be squeezed and um, And if you you know if it's not full then you're good Just take it squeeze it and you're gonna twist the balloon one direction and you do that two more times, and that'll lock that in there. And uh, there you go. You have your first twist. And if you look, kind of looks like the head, doesn't it? Kind of looks like the uh, the head on here. And uh, the only thing missing is this has two bubbles. This is one long loop, a loop twist. Um, so now, again, remember I said it was squeezes? You take it and squeeze the air down a little bit so it goes further down. And that will soften this up really nice for squeezing. So now um, we're going to take again, have the knot facing up. And you're going to do a loop. I'm going to do about like that. So we know this is the head, right? So you want a short neck. So you want to put your finger here where it's going to be short. And then you're going to pinch it again. And then you're going to take and you're going to twist it once, two, three times. And there we have it. Now it's a little cockeyed. It's not right. This is the feet and the nose is looking up. Let's take and let's just turn that head all the way around like that. Now, if you're having trouble, that's okay. Take your time. Pause this video if you need. You can do this. Believe me, you can do this. Um, I have faith in you, all right? You can have faith in yourself. You can do this, all right? So take that, and then one more time, we're going to point it up so the nose is up in the air. We're going to fold it, and we're going to want, you want to make it so that the legs here match the size of the legs there pretty close, and that looks pretty good. I'm just going to eyeball it. You know, it's a balloon. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, squeeze it, twist it once, Twist it twice and a third time to lock that in. We don't want that to come undone. And then you take it and just fix it up. And there, if you did this, you completed your first balloon dog. Just super, super, super basic just to get it in there. All right. Um, and uh, yeah. And if you notice, the three loops are all the same. Just a loop twist. And they're just different sizes placed. And that's really the secret to balloon twisting. How much air you have in the different sizes of balloons. So you've learned a lock twist. You've learned a basic uh, um, loop twist here. Um, or a flower twist. Some people, they call that a flower petal. So let's move on. Let's do this. I want to I wanna teach you before we go how to put that in there. All right, so let's see. Let's go to, no, orange doesn't show up as well. Hey, we'll do a green one this time. We're gonna blow it up. We'll blow it up again. You can let a little burp out, tie it. 
So you have that just like that, right? Point it up to the sky, right? Well, we don't have to do that for this one. Um, now that you're comfortable with the balloon, let's start this way. We're going to do about a two inch bubble here. Um, and for me, it's about three fingers width. And you're just going to take, you're going to pinch it. Remember, it's okay to squeeze balloons. And you're going to you're gonna um this one's gonna for me gonna go backwards and this one's gonna go forwards do what's comfortable for you some people do it flip-flop it the other way but twist it one two three four five something like that about five or six times if you need and that if you notice we're gonna have yeah, that's the nose and now you're gonna hold on to it with the the um pinky and ring finger and then you're gonna go well we're making we can do another two inch bubble here and we're gonna one two three four five fold it then kind of match you're gonna kind of match the size pinch it and then again twist it one two three four five now right now if we let go of this it's just gonna come all apart so we need to lock that in again with the lock twist and we're gonna go one two three and then you can let go. And look, we have your basic balloon dog. Um, now for the neck. And uh, I'm gonna give this a little squeeze. So the air goes down, it softens it up. And we're gonna do the neck, about a one inch, maybe three quarter inch bubble for the neck. Pinch it, twist it, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I like to do this as a tip. You can put it in between your fingers. Again, it's going to change. It's going to be what's comfortable for you. As long as that holds, you can do the other two two-inch um, uh, bubbles so that you can make the feet now. And again, just like the other dog, it's going to duplicate. We're going to do this three times. One for the ears, a set for the front paws, and a set for the back paws. So we'll go one, two, three, four, fold it, pinch it so we have about the same size. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to lock that in. One, two, three. All right. Um, and then as you go, again, like the yellow one, things just move. The, you got the head on backwards. It always does that for me. Um, and that's okay. You can always fix it. And we're going to do... We're going to do this one more time. You're going to pinch the body. Oh, wait, we can do a little squeeze if it's too tight. Um, mine is okay. But uh, do a squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Um, pinch it. Now, these legs are going to have to be smaller because I don't have enough. So let's make a smaller body. One, two, three, four. About two inch bubble. One, two, three, four, five. Fold it for the back legs, pinch it, and one, two, three, lock that in, and now we have a beautiful green dog. All right, I hope that wasn't too fast for you. If you need to, pause the video as you're doing this for each step and um, so that it'll help you out. All right, sounds good. Uh, what so, you want it you want extra credit okay i'll give you extra credit here you go we are going to take that and i'm going to show you something really cool we're going to make a wiener dog all right and to do that we're going to add more air into the balloon you see here it's the end unblown is it's just a lot shorter all right we're gonna let a little air out. We're going to tie that knot. And I'm gonna go a little bit faster for this. Because this it's just all about proportions. All about proportions. You're gonna make that. And then we're gonna do an ear, fold it in half, twist it, or sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I'll squeeze it together and just lock it in one two, three, all right, squeeze it because it's a little tight, make the neck, one, two, three, four, five, 
paws, the front ones. So now we have the front end of the dog, all right? And then it's a wiener dog, a Datsun. So we're gonna go a little further down and we're gonna twist it here. So now it looks like it's going around the corner. Squeeze it because it's getting a little tight. I don't want to break anything. Try to match up. Two, three. And look, everybody. We have a fun wiener dog, a Dodson. Look at that cute thing. Is that not cute or what? All right. So have fun with this. All right. Now, balloons. Where do you get these? I said earlier you can get these at Party City. I said this earlier, you can get them at Party City or or Walmart. Um, they are cheaper quality, so you're going to want to put have a little bit of less air in there. Uh, it's just going to be practice to do it. If you need help getting balloons, just let me know. Contact me, send me a direct message, and um, you can always go to zoomalata.com, Z-O-O-M-A-L-A-T-A.com and fill out the contact form and I will help get you some balloons. Um, I could even probably sell you some. So there you go. That's really good. What? You want a second thing? Okay. I am going to give you one, a second extra credit thing. This dog, we could turn into a giraffe. And it's really simple. Again, it's proportions and where you put everything. Watch. We have his, his head right here, right? So we're going to take and we're going to twist that. And now look what we have. What does that look like? The body of a giraffe is a long neck and a backwards head. We can just take and twist that. And look, everybody, two-in-one balloon animal. We have... A giraffe now there you go a second piece of extra credit all right and then then up here you just you can write eyes or something and put some artwork there all right I want to thank you so much for stopping by spending time here I hope it was helpful for you we will have more balloon tutorials later on uh, don't forget to if you like this hit the subscribe button would you hit uh, the like the thumbs up the notification bell tell your friends about it pass it along all right thank you so much and we'll see you next time bye